Ambassadors, again, for tuning in to another episode of Keep Ducha, where we showcase Latin influencers and creators. Again, my name is Christian, and my partner Abel is behind the scenes on production. And tonight we have another special guest. Um, tonight we have an award-winning illustrator all the way from Queens, New York, Mr. John Parra. And John, if you can go ahead and give us just a little bio about yourself. Hi, my name is John Parra. I am an artist and illustrator, um, originally from Southern California, but for the last 20 years, I've been working out of New York City. And most people know me from my children's books that I've illustrated over the years. Awesome, man. Thank you again for coming out to the show. Um, let's start from the beginning. What led you to kind of get into art uh, in general? Um, well, I've been, I've loved doing art since I was very young. Uh, I think also my dad got me into it. My dad was sort of an amateur artist and he used to draw for us and my brothers. Uh, so that was kind of like my first inspiration. And just from there, I just, I really enjoyed the, just working, doing art. And it was kind of like my voice because I was kind of a shy kid. I was kind of an introvert growing up. But, um, but when I did my art, people knew who I was. So that kind of gave me a confidence uh, and a voice. So I just always enjoyed it. Just really, it was just always a fun thing to do too. Awesome. And did it come natural to you or was it kind of something that like, you know, you had to put in a lot of time to get into? Um, this oh. <laughs> no, I mean like it did and it didn't. It was, uh, it was naturally interesting to me. It was naturally fun to work on. Uh, I had a lot of, um, you know, interest in it, but I mean, was I born being a good artist? No. <laughs> uh, and that's the interesting thing, actually, even going all through my, my schooling years, you know, sometimes people feel like, well, I'm not the best artist. I, I don't know if I can, but I wasn't always the best artist in my class. I wasn't always the best, even in, especially when I got to like art college, I wasn't even the best artist for sure, but I just stuck to it, worked hard, worked hard kept being persistent. Uh, and that's, that's a big key to, to any success and anything you do, I think in life is, um, just kind of that stick to intuitiveness. Definitely. Definitely. And what led you to get into child's books for, in particular? Uh, well, I started doing my first children's book about, um, let's see, 2004. Uh, I was asked to do a project um, I was offered a children's book from a small publisher and, um, you know, just just needing the, the work and needing the money. Uh, I, I took it, you know, not knowing what I was working on, not knowing how to approach it. It was one of the hardest things I ever had to do. But um, about halfway through, I really learned uh, what what it was that I needed to do. It took me like it took me a while to get my like kind of sea legs, in other words. Um, so about halfway through, I was like, yeah, this is okay. I get it. This is how to do it because you really have to do the pacing. You have to do the intro. You have to do, it's like storytelling. It's almost like you're doing like a, a like a, a movie in a sense. It's like, you know, you have your intro shots, you're, you get the pacing down and then like you kind of finish it up, uh, strong. And, um, so you, you kind of put all these things together and, um, you know, and it's a, it's an interesting thing. It's like, it's a lot harder than it looks, but, uh, from that moment on, so what happened was that job uh, got me another another project, which led to another project. And then after a while, you win some awards, and uh, people start to take notice of you, and and it just sort of kind of snowballed from there. Definitely. And so as far as like the work itself, because I know you you also do just you know regular um, art on the side, not just il illustrations. But yeah. as far as your work, what is it that you? generally hope people kind of like take away from it as far as like what they experience um from looking at your work well i mean i, I kind of it's it's hard to know what they take away from because it's like each person will probably find something different in it but for me i mean a lot of it you know when i was in school i learned i learned how to do all kinds of art uh you know styles and stuff like that i can render i could i could do you know more impressionistic but like and i just sort of started uh, experimenting with different things, but it wasn't until I started thinking about uh, my background, because I, um, I have like my, my, my family where I grew up uh, is Mexican, um, but I'm half Mexican, so I'm half Mexican, half uh, American Slovak, so I have this whole thing, but I kind of grew up in the, on the Latino Mexican side, and that, just, just getting some of those ideas and about family and about um, 
about where, you know, just all those good things that I remember growing up, um, just kind of infusing it into my art made a big difference. And so if people see my art and, and think about where they come from um, and what is meaningful to them, because that was also another thing they talked about, you know, finding a style, finding a voice in your art, you know, and I found it, you know, I kept thinking I, I was just going to pick like a style and like, like you were picking out a coat or yeah. shirt or something and you're going to just wear it. And that's what you're going to, that's what you were going to do. But it was, it's really more it's kind of like a deeper thing, really. It's more of a, it's really kind of a more meaningful journey to find that voice. Uh, so I, I would say, like, if you find, if you, anyway, I'm getting so heavy on this. Um, if you look at the art, I mean, it just, I want it to be fun. I want it to be, you know, bright, colorful. I want it to be interesting. I think a lot of storytelling that's going on in the, in, in the images. Uh, I, I love talking about specific pieces of work and, and, what it means to me and what other people think about it. So it's important that it has a message and, and it has uh, storytelling, even if it's just one picture. So definitely. Yeah. And as far as um, you mentioned earlier, you know, you mentioned um, having, you know, confidence and finding your voice in, in uh, the work that you do. Uh, what do you think is an important trait or traits for anyone that's trying to come up um, as far as being like an illustrator, painter, artist, or just um, anything like that in general? I mean, I mean, other than, like I said, finding the voice and finding your passion and, and, and that motivation, uh, it's a lot of just work. I mean, it's just really consistently being persistent, working hard. It's like the hustle. That's, all, you know, that's, that's as, as best I can describe it. It's, a, it's the hustle that you put your, yourself through every day. Um, and I've been doing this for 20 years professionally. So, and every day I'm, I'm still as excited as I was, you know, 20 years ago, um, which is exciting, which is really exciting. In fact, I probably even more, I have more things going on than ever. And, and it just, it, to me, it's like every single thing is, 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 is interesting. So you have to kind of keep, you know, balance the excitement, but balance it with a lot of hard work and just because you want to do it because not because you have to, in a sense, because you want to. Also, I would suggest, you know, you have to kind of learn the, to be successful, you have to kind of learn the business side of things mm -hmm. uh, and how that's run. Uh, a lot of people, um, they get into art and, you know, they struggle a lot because I don't, I think it's hard to, because it is sort of a business. I mean, you really have to kind of, it's like you're an independent contractor and you kind of have to know how to make it work in that sense. And it doesn't have to be, you know, like you, it's not a it's not a bad thing. Like when I first thought about being, oh, man, I got to do the business side. Oh, no. You know, I just want to do art. Well, mm, it's it, you have to put a lot of it helps. It just helps a lot. You know, it's sort of like uh, if you if you're a, if you're a runner, if you're someone who plays sports, you know, you have to exercise. You have to, you know, hit the gym. You don't want to be a gym rat. You want to play baseball. But it's like but you have to put the work in to do what you have to do out on the field or on the court or something like that. So that's kind of, it's like tools that you're going to, you have to develop as well. So business side, um, working hard, networking also, going around to people who are also interested in what you do is super important. Um, talking with them, um, just getting involved with things like that is, is I think really important because especially once you're at an art school or any kind of school or, or just on your own in general, even if you learn it, like uh, on your own, you need to have some sort of uh, connection to other mm -hmm. other people who do what you do. And through them, I really kind of, uh, you know, grew um, a lot more as an artist, you know, because of them, you know, and being inspired, just being inspired in general. Yeah, yeah, that's huge. I think the people you surround yourself with that definitely plays a huge role as far as, you know, what you kind of, um, the conversations you have and kind of the atmosphere you, you um, a track basically, um, which kind of leads me to my next question. You know, you received a lot of awards and you travel a lot. Like when, when you were here, when I met you in, in Lake Worth, um, you know, you had told me, you're like, yeah, you know, I, I got like six other stops. I got to make this year <laughs> alone. And so I, I think that's exciting. Um, as far as, you know, you being, being able to kind of do all this stuff and do what you love, but as far as all that kind of wrapped up, what is your favorite part about like, you know, what you do in, in terms of your work? Well, it's, it's fun to travel. It's fun. It's wonderful to get to see other people in places and, and interact. 
because it's like, you know, when I'm working in my studio, sometimes you don't know exactly, you know, what everybody's uh, out there is thinking about your work. And um, so it's a great way to kind of connect on a really personal level, um, you know, with kids and with families and with uh, educators and everybody. Just 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 tell them. And usually when you tell them, you know, that they, their eyes get big, they get really excited about, you know, what, what you're working on and, 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 and what you do. Um, because it's interesting, I think. And but I mean, honestly, my favorite thing I obviously love to do is 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 doing the artwork itself. Mm -hmm. I, I love doing the research. I love doing the sketches. I love doing the process. I just go into that flow state, and and I'm off. I'm off, you know. And so working in that. But again, you balance it out. Traveling helps. You know, you kind of get out of the studio, and you know, because you don't want to be stuck in there too long. <laughs> Because it's healthier to you know interact with other people, um, so that's the wonderful thing about uh, getting to do now that I get to travel a lot and speak to people, um, which wasn't easy at first. You know, uh, getting up in front of a lot of people was was, was very intimidating at first, but um, you know after doing this for years and years and years, you get used to it and it's kind of fun. You know, to a point where you're like, yeah, this is this is cool. Yeah. Yeah, and that, that's that's funny because um, I remember Jose when I was uh, when I met you, I was with Jose, my friend, yeah. and um, you know he was telling me or he was telling you actually, he's like, man, you know those kids, he's like, I'm with them like every week, he's like, but I never get the reaction that that you got, you know, with them, um, because I think when when they read your book and and it's almost like they see, you know. Um, I don't want to say like superhero, but, you know, they see someone who's like, you know, famous and, and, um, and I, I think that's, that's kind of, uh, a cool thing to think about as far as, you know, someone who writes a book, um, or who, who helps illustrate and bring a book to life. Um, so as far as what you're doing next in, in this next year, or even what you have planned in, in the years to come, uh, what's next for you in your career? Um, well, I got I got a, uh, a couple books coming out, but before I, I jump over there, I was also going to say, you know, it's great to go to to visit with kids too because it's like it's also about them. Um, I really want them to be excited. I want them to be interested in and be inspired of what they can do. You know, the reason why I got I'm here today is because a visiting artist came to my class once, and uh, that's when the when the you know when the light bulb went off. And everything clicked because I had no idea you can do this as an adult. So I really, when I go to visit these places, I also, you know, I want it to be about them and what they get out of it. You know, I think it's super important uh, for that inspiration. Um, as far as what I'm going to be working on down the road, let's see. I got a, I think I have a book coming out in March. I do have a book coming out in March. Uh, it's called The One is a Pinata and it's with Chronicle Books. Uh, it's another picture book uh, with author Roseanne uh, Greenfeld Thong. And then I have another book uh, coming out in September called Little Libraries, Big Heroes. And it has to do with the, the little libraries that you see around uh, in different neighborhoods. So it kind of has that the story of how that started, which I think is a really fascinating story. And then I have uh, several, uh, several compilation books that I'm working on. Um, um, we Are the Change that is coming out in May. And, and then I've got a lot of traveling to do and a lot of places to go to. And I think... For this year, it's going to be quite a bit of traveling, more than last year. And then I'm working on, and, and then a little further down the road, I'm working actually on writing and illustrating uh, my next book project. So that'll be like a, a good challenge for me. Because you always want to kind of stay challenged too. Yeah. Um, you don't want to just keep doing the same thing over and over again. Um, as an artist, you know, you always want to find something. It's like, hey, maybe I can do this too and do this, um, which is a good which is a good thing. So thankfully I got a lot of good people, uh, you know, encouraging me to do it. I have a, uh, my agent now and she's, um, she's helping me out. Awesome. Awesome. Well, again, you know, thank you, um, for taking the time, uh, to be on the show with us. And I still have the book that you gave me. Uh, oh, yeah. uh, this is the one that I believe you just came out with, right? Hey, wall. Yeah, that one's pretty recent. That one just came out this last fall. Yeah, so that that was cool. Like you said, the the um, you talked about like the the whole creation of how it kind of came together, the piece by piece. You had them on the wall. Yeah. Um, so it was it was really cool for me to see it on, on my end. But um, even even cooler to meet you, and um, you know, really humble guy. So I again, I appreciate your time and anything that we can do on our end to help support you. You know, when you when you have a book coming out or anything like that, uh, please just let us know. 
Okay. Well, I honestly, I want to say thank you guys for having me on. It's been a pleasure and great to meet uh, Christian. It was really great to meet you down in uh, Lake Worth. So I wish you guys all the best. Thank you, man. Take care. All right. Take care. All right, guys. Thank you guys again for checking this episode out. Uh, a lot was said in this episode. So please, if you guys liked it, um, share, comment, subscribe, anything you can do to help support. Uh, we also are working on our next big drop and you can go check out all our current uh, ropa and, and line that we have. Um, that's at www.lapunterasupply.com. We currently have a 10% off discount as well. So please, again, anything you can do to support, uh, we appreciate it. So again, thanks, John, and tune in again next week.